What's going on, y'all? This your boy Teddy Blackman, and I'm here with another video. And um, this is just gonna be like a random, you know, what could have been type of video. And this one is stemming from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now I got this cool AI generated art picture from the internet, and it's from a, basically a curator's page. If you don't know what a curator is, it's a person who hoards like um content and posts for entertainment purposes. They don't make the content; they just see other people making the content and they put it on their page for entertainment purposes and stuff like that. So I don't know who's the originator of this picture, but this is a picture of um, three of the original Power Rangers, a uh, trainee, God rest her soul, who lost her life in 2001 in a car accident, who was the Yellow Ranger, um, Zach, who was the original Black Ranger, and Jason, who was the original Red Ranger, as you can probably see. Um, now, this the suits that they're wearing are their power ninjetti suits. Now, the cool thing about this is these three rangers never had these suits in actuality. Um, by the time they came out with the movie, and you remember, um, the rangers had lost their powers in the movie, and they were they had to go to somewhere else, um, to get these ninjetti outfits. They were already replaced by um, I want to say Rocky. Replaced Jason, Adam replaced Zach, and I want to say who replaced Trini? Was it uh, Aisha? I think it was Aisha that replaced Trini. <laughs> um, they were actually the ones that got to don these Ninjetti outfits. Also, tidbit on the Ninjetti outfits: it, uh, Let's, if you look at Zach, his has the Master Don on it. I think when Adam got his. It was the whole big deal about um, him getting the frog, which me and my friends joke about. Every time we talk about Power Rangers, we joke about that all the time. He really got a frog. That's crazy. Um, so they have their original Zords. Now, we also talked about the, the possibility of what ifs. And I've always said that. Now, the Power Rangers, the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie was always like a massive, massive success. But it would have been much more massive if they would have still had these three Rangers here, or even if they would have brought them back, you know what I'm saying? For appearance. Um, it could have, it's several different ways that you could have went about this storyline. Um, you could have had this be their final mission as a part as the power Rangers, um, would be to defeat Ivan Ooze and bring Zordon back. Cause Zordon had like passed away in the movie and stuff like that. Um, or you could have went the heel route and had them as evil rangers and they were the ones holding the powers to the ninjetti costumes and things like that. And you would have had to prove to them that you were worthy or you would have had to defeat them. Obviously, they would have been probably under a spell or something like that, you know, when I say that. But, yeah, that's just several, a couple of ways that it could have it could have went. So I'm going to get into the first way. Now, the first way I said would be like, this could have been their final mission as Power Rangers. Now, um, during one of the seasons, um, these three leave to go to a peace conference and they ended up um, not transferring their powers, but basically copying their powers to Rocky, Adam, and Aisha. I think it's Aisha. And... Because later on in the seasons, when they return, Trini, now Trini, again, Trini never returns because she dies in a car accident in real life. Again, God rest her soul. So she never really returns to Power Rangers. Um, Jason and Zach have often made cameos since Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and they they still had their powers. So I don't think they transfer powers. I really think they just um copied their powers to the new Rangers and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so throughout the seasons there's different little storylines leading up to uh them three leaving now jason will be like the main storyline for purposes because um him and tommy always had like a i want to say a slight tug of war when it came to like who was the leader of the rangers and who was the power rangers like top dog you know what i'm saying and so i felt like in the movie that could have been a good way to write all like Jason leaving, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe he didn't want to concede the leadership to Tommy. And then, you know, they, they last mission together was, um, defeating Ivan Ooze and rescuing Zordon. You know what I'm saying? Now they did something similar to, like that to the show where they last mission together. Did they, they did have to go find some type of powers or something, but it would have been much more like meaningful in a movie. You know what I mean? Cause it was, it was a big deal. Like they're leaving, you know what I'm saying? And 
it could have been like the end of the movie, which was already touching with Tommy and Kimberly, Billy and the new Rangers would have been that much more like sad, that much more powerful, that much more meaningful knowing that I right, <clears throat> going forward, it's going to be a new team of Rangers. You know what I'm saying? Even though I think the movie might have dropped after all the seasons of Power Rangers. When did the movie drop? Was that 96? I don't know. Um, guess about half, maybe half, hopefully halfway through. So, it, yeah. But anyways, um, so, yeah, that would have been like a super cool way to like, that would have been their last mission and then it would have been like a new era of Rangers going forward after the movie. Um, <clears throat> now, the other way, which would have been have Ivan Ooze maybe cast a spell, kidnap them, cast a spell on them, um, turn them evil, and give them the Jetty powers with their original animals, as you can see, um, uh, Jason with the Tyrannosaurus, and Zack with the Mastodon, and Trini with the Sabertooth Tiger, and that would have been like a super cool way to go about it too, and the New Rangers would have had to defeat these three. Um, now, obviously... Because of some matchup purposes, this probably would have been a little like difficult to do because obviously it would have had to be Tommy versus Jason. Because if we'd have did Red versus Red, I think Jason kind of disposes of Rocky immediately. And and, and it, it's not to say that well, Rocky is kind of like in my, in my opinion, Rocky's probably like the worst Red Ranger of all time. That's just my opinion. I love now I love the actor who plays Rocky, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I'm wasn't a big fan of like Rocky. Actually, they didn't give him like he didn't feel like a Red Ranger. He just felt like another Ranger. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, if you do Zach versus Adam, obviously I think Zach beats Adam. It'd probably be more of a contest than Rocky versus Jason. But yeah, that would make for good theater. You know, Mastodon versus Frog, Original versus the predecessor, um, student versus teacher type of mentality. Trini and Aisha would have been the same way. Trini probably would have beat Aisha very, very soundly, very quickly. You know what I'm saying? And it makes up, like, for not a good, really, storytelling. But the, the way that the other Rangers will have a chance to get over is that it was more of them than it is of these three, which would have been the deciding factor. Ha would have had to have been a deciding factor. They finally get overmatched eventually. Maybe you have Tommy and uh, Billy jump jason or maybe you'll have the uh the pink ranger and yellow ranger jump trini and then you have like um rocky he just has to hold hold suit with zach for the time being until more help can be available or something like that you know what i'm saying that would have been the saving grace on how you progress the storyline and still have the rangers go over because you know they have to win eventually because they have to be out moves um but this would have been so cool to think like if this would have happened in some capacity in the movie or even going forward, if they would have came back, um, which <clears throat> in later seasons, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, excuse me, which in later seasons, like I said, they made some cameo appearances. Uh, Jason comes back, um, in Power Ranger Zeo as the Gold Ranger for a little time. He steps in for somebody takes over uh zach has came back as a black ranger um lately uh once and for always a ranger and other cameo i can't quite think of um the person would the person that was making the most cameo appearances was definitely uh jason david frank jdf god rest your soul man tommy love you role model type of person super influential in my life Love you, bro. Hope you resting good. Um, he made the most like appearances and callbacks through various seasons. Felt like almost all of them. And yeah, it just would have been interesting to see how things played out. Um, now, I guess I'll get into different seasons and different little tidbits about different seasons because I'm a huge Power Rangers fan. Even as a, a grown, grown, at my grown age, I'm still a huge Power Rangers fan. Um, but if you see this video and you're a Power Rangers fan too, let me know like what you would have thought about having these three in the original movie, like how epic that would have been. You know, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff for me. Appreciate y'all for tuning in and we out.